Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft Power Apps. In this video, we will be looking at creating a Power App from a template. But first, you need to navigate to the portal. You can do that either by going to the URL or if you go to office.com, log in with your account and you'll see that uh, there's an icon to take you to Power Apps. You will need a, a subscription for the Power Apps. If you haven't set up your Microsoft 365 tenant, you can always review uh, my video on Microsoft 365. This will give you an E3 and E5 subscription as a, as a demo account. And you can use this for, for 90 days and renew it after 90 days. And included in the E3 and E5 is the Power Apps, which you will be able to use and test. So I really would recommend doing that. and. Um, you will need a Microsoft 365 tenant to test with some of these videos. If you already have the setup, then uh, you can continue and follow along. If you haven't had, don't have the setup, you need to go and set this up first. So on the um, dashboard over here, you can see we have our data sources. In the previous video, we created an application from a SharePoint data source. So in this video, we'll be creating a, a Power App based on a template. If you click on the All Templates, this will show you which templates we have available to us. So if you scroll down, you can see over here we have Canvas app, Canvas app, uh, a help desk template. We have a fundraiser, which is a model driven application. And uh, the majority of them are Canvas apps, but a lot of them are both Canvas apps and uh, um, model driven applications. So uh, if we wanted to select one of them, we could always select on, on one of them. This will ask us some questions before we create it. Uh, but if we also go through to the application dashboard, you can see that we have um, our current applications that we have running. We can either run one of these applications, delete them, or we can click on new to create an application. So you can see we have the option to create a Canvas app. We have the option to create a model driven app and we have the option to create a portal. Uh, again, you could have just done that by going to, to home and you can also click on the create button. They're the same. So let's click on canvas. This will open up a new screen and on the new screen, you have the option to create from a, a data source. Note that uh, if you're creating it from a data source, they only have them available in the phone layout. Uh, you also have the option to create a blank application. In our next video, we'll, we'll continue with our employees project and use the blank application to create the application from scratch. But uh, in this video, like I said, we're gonna be using a template and you have the option for phone and tablet. So different, different templates will be available for phone and different templates will be available for tablets. Because we use, I'm using this on a, a laptop or a computer, I want to use the tablet layout. It's just a, a better view for uh, larger screens. But if you're creating it specifically for a, a mobile device, uh, select the, the, the phone layout. But try with both of them and see which one works best for you. So I'm gonna click on the tablet layout. And you can see over here, we have a selection of different templates available to us. So we have an asset checkout. We have a budget tracker, we have a cost estimator, we've got a leave request, we've got our onboard tasks, we've got shout outs, we've got service desk, product showcase, power apps training, uh, PDF reader, and site inspection. So you can see on uh, the preview over here, uh, it gives you an overview of what your application will look like and also a description of the application. So let's select the budget tracker you can see this what it would look like and it gives you an information keep your projects and events on budget with custom categories easy data entry and graphic options you want to see uh, it all clearly so at the bottom over here we have option for our data sources most of these templates are using an excel spreadsheet and storing the information on excel spreadsheet so you can select where you want to store the excel spreadsheet if you click on change you can see over here, we have the option for uh, Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, and OneDrive for business. Because we're using an E5 subscription, or with the E3, you would also have that. You would have OneDrive for business, and uh, you would have enough storage to store all of your applications. I've already selected that, so you can see at the bottom over here, it's using my admin account. And to use that, we will click on Use. 
to create the application, it takes a couple of minutes. So once it's finished doing its thing, uh, you can see over here, you have a, a welcome pop-up. We will just skip that for now. And we have our application in the center over here. You can also see on uh, on the left, if we minimize all of these, uh, you have your application, you have your budget screen, which you can see. We have our new budget screen to create a new budget. We have an add expense screen where you can add your expenses. Uh, you have a, reception, uh, a receipt screen. So you can see all of your receipts, uh, delete receipt, uh, delete expense, and delete budget. Also on the, on the left-hand side over here, you have the option for your data sources. So these are all the data sources that we're currently using, and it's referring to an Excel document that's stored on OneDrive. If you go over to OneDrive, you can see over here, if we go to Power Apps, Templates, and I've created a couple of budget applications. I'm not sure which one this is, but if you click on one of them, there is all of our data. If we open that up, you can see over here, you've got your default data. You can delete these items. And uh, if you delete it, it will be reflected in your application. Just make sure you don't delete the titles. I'm not gonna change anything here. Feel free to look at the Excel spreadsheet and I'll close that. Uh, let's go back to our Power Apps. And let's have a look at some of these uh, screens that we have. You can see uh, this is our, our budget screen. It's got a, a number of different components added to it. If you click on one of the components, uh, let's click on another one, you can see uh, what is inside there. So we, we have over here, for example, a text box. Um, you can change the text, you can change the color. For example, if you uh, select the top bar over here, currently it's set to blue. Uh, let's make this a green color. And if you select the, the text, you can change the text to whatever you want. So let's say my budget tracker. And maybe also let's change the, the text color. It's currently set to blue. I want that to stand out. So let's make it... Uh, not purple, but let's make it red. And also let's make it bold. So that stands out a little bit uh, more. Feel free to have a look at the different components. Um, I will go through some of those settings in a later video, so I'm not gonna pay, pay too much attention to this. Uh, but let's run the application and see what happens. So to run the application, if you click on play or F5, you can see over here we have I, uh, the name that we changed, the My Budget Tracker. We have all budgets, so the total budget for, for the month that we have. Uh, so uh, 55,000, spent 20, 22,332, and remaining is 32,668. So it calculates all of, all of those uh, values based on the total. If you have a look underneath here on the left-hand side, we have our our uh, budget, so this is a team event at Contorso, and it displays the information over here. It has a response or a, a dynamic uh, pie chart. If you hover over it, it expands. Interior design, food, entertainment, and miscellaneous, those are the different categories. And on the right-hand side here, we have our receipts. So if we look at the underneath here, you have the options that have been added. So for cake, they've spent 300 pounds. Uh, for movie, 500 pounds, for extra, 1,000, and cleaning, 150. You can delete one of these items and it will refresh the, the totals. But if we click on new, and let's just type test, and let's put a value in here of 1,000. And the category that we can select, let's say transport. And notice over here, we have a black screen. This is a camera component. So because I'm using this on a, a, a laptop, they, I, I don't have my camera enabled, but if you were doing this on a mobile device, you could uh, uh, focus your camera over the receipt and take a photo of the receipt. And when you save it, it takes a while to save, your receipt would be displayed over here. But as mentioned, I don't have any receipt. 
uh, I don't I didn't take any photo of the receipt because I'm using a laptop and not a, a camera a mobile phone with a camera it's, nothing is displayed over here if we scroll down you can see the value that we entered in over here and it reflects at the total at the top there we also have other um, budgets that we have so spring customer visit uh, the layout is exactly the same if we click on add you can see uh, the categories are also the same let's go back and here we have another one total budget and the amounts that you've spent if you hover over your pie chart it's exactly the same um, I don't think they have any demos with a uh, an attached uh, receipt but test that out and see how it works um, and also check how the the totals at the top are, are, uh, are summed if you click on the plus sign you could also add another budget so this would be our test budget total amount let's say 1000 click on save we current currently haven't spent anything for our test budget but over here we have a, a remaining amount if we click on the test and we add an expense uh, uh, yeah let's just type anything uh, the amount that we spent we spent 400 and uh, it was for miscellaneous again take a photo try test the photo let's click on save and we will be re directed redirected back to our uh, main page so you can see the amount that we spent uh, the amount that is remaining and uh, we've only uh, we've only selected one item which was miscellaneous so our pie chart doesn't really show anything if we click on the x uh, this will take us back to our designer. I really recommend that you you go through some of these items if you if you interested on to see how how these values are, are dynamically updated. Try find the items in the in the um, uh, tree view over here and have a look at the text values and look at uh, the formulas that they're using and see how you can use that in your projects as i mentioned i don't really use the templates that much i'll create everything from scratch but to see how an application is put together it would be uh, recommended to to have a look at the different components and see the different formulas that are available on there so if we click on file and again you can give the the project uh, a, a, a different name so i can't remember what we named it in the top bar my my budget tracker and let's give it a different color and because this is for finance let's try see if we can find a financial icon if you don't uh, doesn't really matter which one you add you can also upload one and use one from your uh, local pc i can't seem to find one select one that you think is uh, appropriate for the the application and uh, add it to it so from here we also need to save it if we click on the save button you can click on save It'll take a, a couple of seconds to save it good so that that's it for this video uh, what we did we created our budget app using a template from power apps and we explored some of the, the the functionality of the application we didn't go into too much detail of the technical side but in the next video, we will be creating a uh, power app from a blank template. So there will be nothing in that template. And we will be adding all of the components uh, to have our final version of our application. And this will be the employee application using the SharePoint data source. So it will take a couple of videos to complete that, that video, but uh, that, that project. But uh, check out the next video and let me know what you think in the comments.